Welcome to the Branson Woodwind Shop. Another fairly common problem with valve casing threading is that they can be stripped or they can be tapered inward so that the valve cap does not hold. Here's a drawing of what it looks like and you can see that the walls are tapered inward so that when you put the cap on it doesn't have a lot to hold on to. And a lot of times also the threads on the outside are a little bit worn down. So what needs to be done is to straighten out the walls of the casing so that it is cylindrical again and not tapered. And that will give the valve cap something to hold on to again. What needs to happen is for the threading on the casing to be expanded so that it fits the threading on the valve cap and so that the valve cap can hold. This is one of my parts instruments and it has a problem with this valve. If you turn the valve cap it doesn't hold, it just slips and you can pull it off very easily. That's because these threads have been tapered inward and there's not enough room for it to hold. Usually the easiest way to do this is to use a tapered mandrel and these are usually used for getting dents out of the bells of trumpets and other brass instruments and they're small on one end and then they get bigger on the other end. Here's a cutaway of the valve section. And you can see that the diameter at the top of the casing is larger than the diameter right here. When you put the mandrel into the casing, you want it to touch at the top and not down here. And you can see that this is touching here and not here. There's a gap. So this, is, this mandrel will not work. You want a mandrel with a little more taper to it. So put it in there. And now you can see that it's touching here and not here. When you do this repair, make sure that there's no gap at the top here. Chuck the mandrel into the vise and then carefully push the trumpet onto the mandrel. And since the mandrel is tapered, the further you push it onto the mandrel, the more it will expand. And be careful not to go too far and check it often to see that you're not going too far. Now pull it off and check it. It's still quite loose, so I have to keep going. And one thing that might be helpful is to mark on the mandrel how far the trumpet has gone on before. So this time we can go a little bit farther. I'll check it again. And you know you've gone far enough when it goes on without too much wiggle. And when you tighten it down, it doesn't strip. It's tightening down enough without stripping, but there's still a lot of wiggle here. So I'm going to want to expand that a little bit farther. Put it on again. And then a little bit farther this time. This valve cap feels good now. I think that will work. If you do not have the proper mandrel to work on the job, you can use dent balls. And these are different sizes. They start small and then they get bigger. I'm going to take a dent ball and I'm going to put it into here. And it will expand the casing on just on the top a little bit. And tap it in. So it's just a little over halfway and pop it out and then try it. Keep going up one size until it, until it fits like it should. And try it out. If it's still too loose, go one size up. If it works, then you're done. If at any time you've gone too far and expanded the casing too much, you can watch the video on how to shrink the top of the casing. The link to the video is in the description below. Sometimes this problem can cause another problem. When you push down a valve, it sounds fine, but then when you let it up, it makes a clicking sound. And often that's caused because the valve cap is just not screwed on tight, and then you screw it down, and then there's no more problem. But if the, you have the valve cap on tight, and it still clicks when you let go, Often it's because the threadings are starting to get stripped and pretty soon they probably will be stripped all the way. I hope this video has been helpful and that was one of the three common threading problems on brass instruments. And to watch the other videos look for the link in the description below.